In this video, we're going to look at a very slick way to add meta boxes to our admin forms, specifically to our rooms content type. A meta box is simply a container for some fields. This publish is a meta box, attributes is a meta box, featured image is a meta box, discussion is a meta box, and we're going to make our own meta box and we're going to put our own fields into it. We're going to use a plugin called CMB2, Custom Meta Boxes 2. It's a rewrite of Custom Meta Boxes and Fields for WordPress. It can be used in two different ways. It can be folded into an existing plugin or theme, or you can simply install it as a normal plugin and use it that way. We're going to install it as a normal plugin. It's created by Web Dev Studios, and you can see it here on GitHub. You don't have to get it from GitHub, but there's some really excellent documentation over here, and it's worth reading through if you really get into this. So the first thing we're going to do is install it. And there it is. Activate. And there it is. Now, let's look again. Right here is a link for some basic usage instructions. And at the top here is the information on how to roll it into an existing plugin. And so we can skip that. But here it says create a meta box. And there's a nice block of code here. They create a function inside it, create a prefix, and then this array of information, no it is a function, and then this function called new CMB2 box creates the custom meta box with this information. And then they use add field to create a text field and then another one to create a URL field, and another one to create an email field. And then this is all run with this add action line. So let's copy this code, and then we'll change it to make it our own. We're going to put it right here in the bottom of our existing plugin. So let's go back to the top here. So we're going to change CMB2 sample meta boxes to CMB2 BNB rooms info. And now this function name needs to match this. There. So now on CMB2 init, it will run our function. We can create a prefix. It can be anything we want, but it should be unique. So I'm going to do BNB rooms. And now we get to name our meta box. Again, it should be something unique. So I'm going to make it BNB rooms data and we can give it a title. There. Now, object types. We need to know on what kind of page to put this on. Right now, it would be on pages, but we don't want it on pages. We want it on our rooms. And right here in the top, in the URL, you can see post type equals bnb underscore rooms. So we're going to attach it to that. Our context is normal, priority, high. Context means where on the page it appears. It could be advanced, side, or normal. Advanced and normal are both in the main column of information right in here. Advanced will put it right under content. Side will put it over on the side. 
So I'm going to choose advanced. And priority helps determine in what order, whether it's down here or up here, and the same over here. I always like to leave mine high because I think my stuff is more important than the discussion, etc. Show names. We can show field names on the left. We do want that. We have the option to disable built-in styles. And we can set it up so that the meta box is closed by default. Those are commented out, and I think I'm going to leave them that way. I don't want that. I don't want to change that. So now we have their fields, a text field, a URL field, and an email field. Let's just leave those for now, just to see what they look like. It put my meta box below everything else. Fortunately, WordPress is cool, and you can simply drag it. So here's a text field, a website URL, and an email field. Now CMB2 is smart enough to only allow proper information. So for example, if I just wrote some text in here, it would not get saved because it's not a web URL. If I wrote a URL in the email field, it would not get saved because it's not an email address. Let's go back to the plugin page. And right here it says you can see a list of available field types here. There's title, text, text small, medium, email, URL, money. Then there are text areas, a text date and text time, select time zone, time stamps, some time stamp fields, a color picker, radio buttons, taxonomy radio buttons, select, Taxonomy select, checkboxes, WYSIWYG, which gives you the rich text editor, a file uploader, a file list uploader, OEmbed, which allows you to paste in a URL from Twitter or something and have it magically render something, and group, which is a hybrid field that supports adding other fields as a repeatable group. And down here, it tells us what each of them does. So let's click on radio. We'll copy this. I'm going to remove all of the ones that they made for us. So now we have an empty box. I'm going to paste, paste in the radio. And I'm going to call this hot tub. Our ID can be hot underscore tub. So we want to say yes or no. Is there a hot tub? So we will say yes and no. And we don't want option three. There. Now let's save this and reload our room. Ah, uh, we left the option for none. We don't want that. So now we can say, is there a hot tub? Yes or no. In our next video, we'll take a look at some of the other field types.